What is going on everyone? Time for Walter White version like eight, I think. God we felt right. probably closer to a dozen PC builds on this channel that have a white theme behind them. I use Walter White because I'm a big fan of Breaking Bad. I think that was one of the best series on television when it came out. And I was really pumped for the final season. They kind of delayed that for a while to kind of build the suspense. I remember I was a freshman in college, I think, when the final season premiered. So uh, the last few episodes, I guess, that was a really exciting time and uh, probably like the highlight of my first year in college. I know that sounds super nerdy, uh, but this is my way of paying tribute to it, right? I build themed PCs centered around Walter White, the blue sky, like crystal meth thing that he cooked. Uh, that was his specialty. He was a chemist in, uh, in a high school. And again, yeah, there's some backstory there. So uh, I try to pay tribute to that. You know, one of my favorite shows on television by building. And uh, this is probably, again, like, uh, in all reality, maybe like the fourth or fifth version of Walter White that I've actually put on the channel. The original one was filmed right here. Check out this video if you want to be caught up to speed. Otherwise, let's cut to some sweet B-roll for this one. I didn't show the build log just because I like to, you know, sometimes I just like to be with myself without having to move a camera around all the time when I'm building one of these. I had a lot of fun building it, but I think you'll appreciate the looks of this one at the end. So that's what we're going to cut to right now. Now I'm sure most of you could figure out the platform I chose just from the B-roll. It of course was an Intel platform. I went with the 8700K more specifically because I will be comparing it to the 9900K in a few different videos. Coming up very soon, we finally have uh, our Intel rep sending us the 9900K, so that'll be uh, nice. I'm excited for that. Also, I'm going to be giving you a different perspective, a different sort of review on the 9900K. We've already seen the plethora of benchmarks out there from other tech tubers. We're a little late to the party, I understand that. That's why we're not gonna do our typical run through of tests. I think it's fairly obvious from just the the raw performance numbers here that 900K is a little overpriced. And uh, what we're going to take away from that is, well, it might be overpriced in the sense that we're squeaking out maybe a five to 10% difference in some tasks and some games we're not even getting a 5% FPS delta. But do I notice the difference in my everyday usage when I stream, when I game? So if I can find a use, a specific use, use case scenario for the 9900K, if I see a difference between that and the 8700K, which I'm currently running in Walter White version, whatever, then I will tell you guys in a follow-up video. But if I don't see a difference, if I'm, you know, my game frame rates are pretty much the same, there's maybe a 5%, again, delta or so, uh, content creation, rendering, uh, scrubbing, all that stuff seems pretty consistent. There's not much of a difference between the two. Uh, and then also when it comes to streaming, if I don't notice much of a difference, despite having the extra two cores and four threads on board, maybe we can overclock a bit higher, I'm not sure. I'll be able to present all that data to you, just kind of my first person experience here. So if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to buy into uh, the newer Intel refresh, if you will, then uh, hopefully that video will answer the question for you without having to go deep into the data and uh, all the benchmarks, which I'm sure you've already seen. By the way, if you want to build this exact system or something very close to it, you can check out our affiliate links down below. They do give us, again, a small kickback, so it helps us out. Uh, but otherwise, you just click those or you can search for them yourself on Amazon or Newegg. Uh, buy similar parts, I recommend. Again, if you're going for a white theme build, 
keep with a white case, stick with a white graphics card. Uh, I did choose a, a dark motherboard. This is the Asus, what is this, Hero 10? Yeah, the Maximus Hero 10 or 10 Hero, whatever order they have that. And I chose that because I wanted some contrast. So I could have thrown everything into the system and, and had it all be really white. Um, I did have a couple white motherboards, particularly from MSI I could have used in this build, but I wanted a black motherboard for contrast uh, because it makes that graphics card really pop. And that's what I really wanted ultimately was to show off this beautiful Gigabyte RTX 2070. The color scheme is a little deceiving on camera. It looks more blue here, but this is what it looks like to the human eye. I'm just kind of, you know, changing the colors on screen here, but uh, that looks a little more neutral and that's what I was going for. I just wanted a generic LED strip to light up the white components. Uh, and then I had some purple tones in the background to kind of offset the, the neutral white color scheme. So uh, we have these Bora fans back here from Lee and Lee. These are purple. We do have the Maximus 10 logo on the motherboard set to purple as well as the Gigabyte logo on the graphics card. And I just chose purple because it's a, it's a great color to kind of contrast. Uh, the, the neutral white tones of the build again. So the uh, good thing is I can change this whatever I want. If you want to stick with like blue, blue would make more sense for like the crystal meth thing, like the blue sky, right? His Walter White's product was was blue just because the way he made it, the chemical composition of the product. Uh, so if I wanted to stay more true to the Walter White tones, I could turn these colors back to blue. Uh, but I went with purple just because it looks blue on camera, the rest of the system. So what the heck. By the way, the case that I chose, one of my favorite cases of all time, it's only about 120-ish US dollars, which I think is great value for uh, dual tempered glass panels. You get excellent airflow, tons of cable management at the rear, plenty of water cooling support. There's just so much space in this case because of the way it's designed. Uh, I really love the layout. It's the PC-011 Dynamic from Lean Lee. It is also linked down below. If you guys have any like sort of custom loop, you're using an ATX motherboard, uh, and let's say you have two radiators, two 360 mil rads, of a, a big reservoir, um, two graphics cards. You can fit all of that in this case. I really like it because it's very versatile. And again, it is affordable considering what you're getting in the package. By the way, full disclosure, this video wasn't sponsored uh, really by anybody. We're not receiving any money for this build. I know some tech tubers will do product placements and stuff, and some of them don't tell you that they're product placements. Uh, we're gonna do our best going forward to disclose all of that. Again, we wanna be as transparent as possible. Uh, so we did have Gigabyte send the RTX 2070 for this particular build. Uh, that was sent to us for this, uh, and then uh, uh, pretty much everything else I've just had laying around for a few weeks or months, either that or it was being used in another build and I just ripped it out of that and put it into this one. We do a lot of recycling around here uh, and that's kind of what goes on behind the scenes. I've been moving some stuff around by the way, so if you're wondering why things look a little different, it's because I'm trying to trying to fit everything the way that I want. It just kind of bothered me the way that I had it in here uh, right after we moved into this place. I think now we're a little better set up for live streams. By the way, live streams every Sunday night. That's Sunday night, CST, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We have after hours live streams. You guys ask questions. I give answers as long as I know how to answer them. If not, I just jot down a note or two and I go back and research. I'll get back with you again in either a dedicated video or in the next live stream to answer that question. It's a good way for me to learn, good way for you guys to learn, and for us to interact on a more personal level. Uh, so again, live streams every Sunday night, 9 p.m. CST. They're called After Hours. So that's it for this one. Just wanted to show off another build. I'm pretty proud of this one. I think it's one of my cleaner builds. Uh, big thanks to Tony Scharf from Virility PC Customs. Tony hooked us up with these cables. We've been reusing them actually for the past four or five builds, but I love them a lot. Uh, and that's why I decided to throw those into this rig. Uh, and thanks to Gigabyte for sending their RTX 2070 for just being the icing on the cake here. I think this is one of the sexiest RTX cards on the market, and it's not one of the most expensive either, which is a good thing. So if you're looking for a, a lower tier RTX card, which is still gonna be around a GTX 1080 in terms of performance, then you can check out the RTX 2070 link below. It's a Gigabyte white model. If you want a white RTX card, this is pretty much the only one you can buy at this point, but I think it's one of the best looking cards ultimately anyway, so it's not going to matter. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this build. I expect you guys to leave a thumbs up if you thought the video was cool. Dislike the video if you feel the complete opposite or if you hate everything about life. That red subscribe button down there, by the way, is to subscribe in case you were wondering. I expect you guys to do that if you haven't already. Please do that. We're so close to 400K and that is an awesome milestone to say we have a 400,000 subscriber YouTube channel. Not as cool as 500,000, but whatever, I'll take it. We're pretty close. And again, for those who have been sticking around since the very beginning, you guys are awesome. And uh, I see the same kinds of people commenting after every video is posted. I really appreciate you guys, especially because 
you're there up front and you're willing to engage and you're willing to watch the video right when it comes out. It just shows that you guys care and that's enough for me to keep going. So please keep doing what you're doing and that will allow me to continue doing what I am doing. I love this job. I love you guys. I will catch you in the next one. This is Science Studio. Thanks for building with us.